I'm still on week three. Um, we're doing tags and journaling today on visual texture from the Cherish book. Now, my internet and my taping ability is limited. So sometimes the tape just stops in the middle of a tape. <laughs> so we made tags. I showed you how to put the, the tape on. You could just write on these tags. You could leave them the original size or you can layer them. I'm even going to say, I sort of like the tags, so I'm going to save them for another layout. Um, while the tape was uploading, I put the, the tags together and I put them with a puffy tape. And I'm going to finish putting the pictures on now and talk about journaling just a little bit more. I really find journaling not my easiest thing to do. I would rather play with colors and photos rather than journaling. And so it's important to at least put the bare minimum of your story down. Um, if you have a black eye like that, you really want to remember a little bit of what happened. But also this whole era we're in is a lot different and will hopefully be able to look back on it soon and not <laughs> have a lot of all, only negative memories. So I have a fold in my paper there and so I put a puffy tape on the back of that and I'm going to put it right over the fold. First I'm going to add the pictures. I thought I already adhered them. So sometimes when you're printing your pictures, you don't want uh, four by six, but you can put smaller pictures on your four by six and then cut them down to fit a four by four or a three by three picture. And that's what I'm doing on this page for up here. Now this is the picture of a black eye. He happened to give it to him, not in a fight, but <laughs> just a accident when they were skimming rocks. Um, but I want that picture saved, but I don't want it to be the highlight. So I'm going to put this picture over it in a flip flap. Now, what I've done is I've prepared some journaling, and I'm going to put that on the back of this picture. So I want to cut off this to four inches. So it'll fit on the back of my journaling. And I want to make sure don't cut off any heads. Let's see. So. Um, now I can make it exactly four. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put this with journaling underneath it, and then put it in a flip-flap. It looks pretty good. Just taking off my covers of my tape. And remember, you don't have to use a lot of tape, and you can use any kind that you like working with, it. but if it's on a photo, it should be acid-free, or if it's touching a photo. Okay, this is the direction I want. So I'm just attaching my journaling right to my photo. And then I'm putting it into a plastic flat page protector. This one happens to be for a four by four photo. And it comes with adhesive already on it. So when we go to put this picture in the page, this is the right hand layout. So we'll just fold the picture, slide it in. I'm gonna position these funny little jute tags here. I'm not gonna anchor them, I don't think, unless they become a nuisance. Position them there. And I want this photo to go right over that photo. So I remove the liner of the adhesive It sticks to my fingers. Then I lay the picture on top of the other photo 
and this will still let the mat show through. There we go. I open it, burnish it a little bit, and now I have a completed page. So this is week three of Friendship, the end of our visual texture lecture. Lecture? <laughs> this isn't quite a lecture. <laughs> our visual texture layout, and it's all ready for your album. Now notice I did put these two together. Um, you can change them. You can change directions if you want. You can do anything you want. But I left the back of the page empty. So this will probably be your cover. Um, and we'll do some single layouts at the end of this. But next week, let's see, we will be doing page 106, Easy Inspiration. And... We will be talking about titles and stickers next week. So have a great week. Have fun creating your layouts.